Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Danielle and I'm a handbag enthusiast. I love doing videos on my purse collection, unboxings, things like that. I also upload shorts almost every day. So if you're into that, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button so you can continue seeing my videos. Let's get into it. Today, I'm gonna be doing a fun little video in honor of the summer months coming up and I'm gonna show you all of the bags that I have for this year. I don't have a ton of seasonal bags, but this year I feel like I've accumulated a bit more, you know, with the raffia bags being more in season. And I don't like to wear my leather bags too much in the Texas heat because it is so hot and the leather gets hot and it gets hot on your body and it's just not the most comfortable thing. You're also not gonna carry a vernie bag to the pool or a pvc bag so it's just not preferable to wear those type of bags out in the summer heat and canvas too a hot humid doesn't do well so i have an assortment of bags at kind of all different price levels that i thought i would share with y'all and kind of tell y'all my favorites and my least favorites and what i think is the best bang for your buck so let's get into it so the first bag on my list is the Longchamp pliage bag, I think it is. I got this in white. Honestly, I've had it probably since eighth grade freshman year. So this bag has seen a lot. It's pretty dirty. I think my husband tried to clean it last year because I love this bag so much. And I mean, he did a pretty good job. To be fair, it was really gross before, but anyways i think this is the small size you just can't go wrong with this bag i think this is the perfect beach bag like i said i've had it for years and years and other than me being dirty with it i mean it does what it's supposed to do right i love the white i think in the future i would buy another white or i'd buy like a fun color or i love the navy it's a really good price point and it fits a lot so let's check out what will fit in it well i kind of did a good job of stuffing this bag but you can fit plenty of more i feel like but it's pretty heavy it will still close let me just show you not too heavy though and i feel like at this price point you don't really care about the outside of the bag and it's just very durable waterproof perfect for anything i feel like i need to buy i'm just convincing myself to buy another one but Anyways, also perfect if you're traveling because you can fold it up and put it in your suitcase. We love that. A water bottle. Jacques Mousse hat. Full size book. Sunscreen necessity. Sunglasses to protect your eyes. Some suntan lotion to get a little tan. You know, who likes to go to the beach or the pool and not get a little bit of color? I think everyone looks better with a tan, but that's just me. Anyways, small little towel from Target. Kindle, necessity. Card holder and AirPods. You could probably fit a pair of AirPod Maxes, but great. 10 out of 10. I feel like I should probably get another one and look how flat and then you just fold it up. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Now, I saw someone on TikTok trying to wear it like this. And personally, I just don't see like how you would with putting stuff in it. But I mean, everyone has seen these, right? How they display them at long shop like this. I don't store my, I know I store mine like this, but I never wear it like that. So there you go. This next one is kind of niche. I bought this for my wedding last year and my honeymoon. It's this little bride bag. Oh, so cute but anyways you could probably buy it without the bride or for whatever occasion you're going for and this one was hard to travel with I will say so I did end up stuffing it with some some koozies as a wedding favor but anyways it says bride but I think I saw this on show me your moo moo for like $150 which is ridiculous so actually I went on Etsy and I probably spent 30 to 40 dollars on this and it did its job it fit everything I needed let's see let me stuff it. So in comparison, not as much, but what do you expect? Totally different bag. Kindle. Oops. Suntan lotion. SPF. Card holder. AirPods. Water bottle. So pretty good. 
I'd give her a seven just because she's not as big. She's not, you have to hold her on the arm or a top handle moment, can't go on the shoulder, but still really cute. If you're not trying to fit a lot, but you're going for aesthetics, this is it. Next, we have this cute little bag from Target. She's a little top handle moment. Doesn't really go on the wrist well, so let's just stick with top handle. She's not big, but I love the pop of color. I feel like for a little beach dinner, she's cute, but I've also worn her to the pool just with a couple of things in it, so let me show you. Okay, this is really cutting close and depends if you want it, if you are fine with it sticking out. So, suntan lotion, SPF, Kindle, oops, card holder, AirPods. So that's it, super cute, love her. She does the job, honestly probably eight out of 10 because she was so cheap, got her from Target. The only complaint is that she's not bigger, but she, I don't think she'd be as cute as if she were bigger. So. I guess the only complaint is that she's very occasional bag. You know, she, she does the job that you want it to do, but she's not super versatile. This bag is the most perfect summer bag. She's a little dressy. She has the cute little acrylic strap. So cute, the pink wicker. She's cute. Now this isn't a beach bag. This is more of like a resort wearer. I'm in the thick of summer and I'm wearing a cute little dress moment silk whatever linen she's just so cute to make that outfit pop got her from target she was probably only 30 dollars, which honestly is kind of the high end for target bags but i saw her grabbed her haven't seen her since so i think she was a really good buy i put some stuff in her so let's open it up she has a little magnetic closure also clasps doesn't fit much sunglasses card holder AirPods. Some lipsticks will fit too, lip glosses, compact. She also comes with a second strap, so that's also a plus. You could, so I guess this is a three in one bag, right? Shoulder moment. You could take this off and it would just be a clutch, or you can put this on, I guess, for crossbody. So I rate her probably eight and a half out of 10, just because I, I love the pink moment. She didn't cost an arm and a leg, and she's a three for one. Cute. Two more bags. This bag, she doesn't do it for me. She's from Abercrombie and I originally got her to scratch my itch of the Prada Raffia bag. No, she's just too big and I feel like she droops. Also super freaking big. I think this was only $60. I'll show you what it looks like on. But whenever you put things in it, it just makes the bag become bulky and bigger and also these holes are pretty big so you just got to be careful i think i've worn it like twice before i got the rest of the bags or even thought about carrying the long chomp and i just made my husband carry it you know like those like nappy sacks that they show like in the cartoons the <laughs> the stick in the pouch that's what i feel like it, carrying this i'm just like <sighs> i'm not even going to show you what fits in this because it's endless like it is so big you could fit like a couple towels in here water bottles all the things that i showed you that fit in the long shop and more don't recommend but i mean 60 dollars not bad if you don't mind the droopiness of it i also think i'm just sure i'm 5 1 so the proportions on me don't look right so honestly three out of ten okay lastly we have my newest bag that i'm added to my collection for the summer i was very purposeful with this one and honestly i'm so glad i got her here she is, the Prada Raffia, I think in the small size. This was a limited edition, bought off fashion file. I did an unboxing and a review on it already, so go ahead and check it out. For the size, love it, fits a lot. My only complaint is that I wish the handle drop was a little bigger, but anyways, you can wear on the crooker of your arm or a top handle. So here we go. Towel from Target sunscreen, hair clip, sunglasses, Kindle, suntan lotion, card holder, book, airpods. She fits a lot. 
I'd rate her 9.5 out of 10 because the price was kind of steep, but I could justify it because she'll be in my collection forever. But if you want the most bang for your buck, I would definitely go for the long shop. So it just depends what's important to you, but I think that's a pretty good roundup of bags for the summer in all different price ranges. Okay, so out of all of those, let me know which ones are your favorite. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all next week. Bye guys.